Welcome back to Keeping Critters. So this morning we're going to take a look at our feed, um, what we feed our chameleons um, and all our reptiles. Um, hint, hint, uh, there's probably another one coming. Um, so stay tuned for that video, I'm so excited. Um, anyway, so we have crickets and we also have mealworms uh, that we feed to the chameleons. And one of the really important things is to do what we call gut load. And so what that is, is it's getting the nutrition that we want for the chameleons um, into the crickets or onto the crickets as the case may be. Um, and I'm gonna show you how it is that we keep the crickets. Um, I do buy them a thousand at a time. Um, so, and by that, I mean in the different sizes. So we need smalls for the juvenile chameleons and we need large for the adults. So I bought uh, just this past Tuesday, today's Friday, um, a thousand smalls and a thousand large. So anyway, let me show you our setup for them and what we use um, to gut load them. So when we first started off um, with just the three chameleons, we used this um, Cricut Keeper. And so inside of it, we have some egg carton material. There's a couple of dishes in there that we can put um, the food and water in. And then there's these handy tubes. And so the crickets crawl up in there. So to feed them, you just have to take this out, double check in it that there's crickets. And then you can just use this to put them in the cages. Well, as you can imagine, a thousand crickets in there just isn't gonna work. So we moved on from that to these. So we created these bins ourselves. So it's just a Rubbermaid tub. We cut the top of it out and then we actually glued on the underside this screen. So they get air and then down inside, and this is the large one. So we have to be kind of careful. These guys can actually jump out. And yes, I have random crickets all over my house. Um, so whenever you see one, you just scoop it up and we either put it back in here or we go ahead and throw it in one of the cages, depending on its size. In here, we have these little green things. And so they're still soft this morning. This is um, water and food all in one. And so it's soft. We don't put water in here because the crickets drowned in water. Um, so they get the um, hydration they need from those. There's also potatoes in here. These are actually the ones that came in the shipping um, box that we got them in. So I'll probably take that out and replace that here today. And then I've just laid our tubes in the bottom um, because these things are really handy for feeding. And then if we get the light just right, you can see there's crickets all inside. Huggy's like, uh, let me see what's in there. Um, always my faithful companion. So it's really nice because then you don't have to worry about catching them. And then you can see them coming out when you just shake it slightly. So we can just shake it into the cages. Um, Mike is really bad. The crickets, he gets, he lets them all out all the time. Um, I don't know why he can't get them all in there, but um, we totally blame him. We think he's the one that gets them loose in the house all the time. So anyway, um, this is uh, not a thousand now, actually, because I just got this on Tuesday and it's now Friday. So we've fed a couple of times, but they've got plenty of room. They've got the egg carton. If we tip the egg carton up, kind of flip it over. You'll see there they all are. So um, if you buy them in um, bulk, you have to make sure that you're providing them with food and water. Um, again, that's what the green stuff is. And we're gonna take a look at that here in a second. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Augie is um, standing here making sure they don't get away, but, um, and yeah, he'll eat them too. So anyway, over here, this is what we have. This is called Total Bites. It's for crickets and feeder insects. It um, gut loads them. So it's not only water, it's um, their food um, and the gut load. And what that is, is it gives our chameleons what they need to um, have a good diet. And so you can feed this, There's you can see there's a, a list of things that you can feed it to, so feed it to the mealworms as well. The other thing we do is we dust them with this Repti Calcium. And so this is added calcium. Um, it goes on the outside of the crickets, so we shake a little bit, um, shake the crickets up in it um, so that they're dusted in that. We do that probably twice a week. And then this is my other uh, 
Cricut Keeper here. Uh, these are the small ones. So you can see these guys are much tinier than our large ones. Um, so the chameleons, we have to change the size of the crickets as they grow. And so if they have crickets that are too big for them, they can choke on them. Um, so we just make sure that everybody has the size they need. Right now we're in smalls and larges. Um, we also buy the mealworms in the small and large as well. <clears throat> and I think I have some mealworms too. So let's stand up real quick. Oh, so here's some of our mealworms um, crawling around in here. Um, and I'll get them, I'll probably put them in the critter keeper and give them some water as well. So that's what we use uh, to store the crickets in um, and how we feed our chameleons. Um, and yes, they do make noise. Um, in our last batch, we had two uh, different crickets that actually chirped through the night. Um, those ones are not here anymore. They um, have gotten eaten. Um, and this last batch, actually nobody has chirped. So fingers crossed um, that this group remains quiet and hopefully our next batch as well. So uh, if you have questions about um, how to make one of these boxes or um, what it is that um, gut loading means, please reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for joining us again today. Augie says, have a great day.